check out my Teflon stash right here. Right there. Oh, beautiful Teflon. We can use it for so many things. We're going to tightly grip the sapphire window with this material right here. This is PTFE, AKA Teflon. You can get it in bar stock from McMaster car and it turns very nicely on the lathe when you use sharp lathe cutters. I happen to have designed my own sharp lathe cutter called the VersaGroove tool and I use it for everything. I'm going to use it to cut Teflon because it does a great job. You have to have sharp carbide to cut Teflon. PTFE is extremely high temperature and it's also very good for sealing. So because we're gonna be doing 1000 PSI and 300 C rating on this assembly, Teflon is already what they use for Teflon tape. So it makes sense that we would just machine it out of solid bar stock for our window holding application. I realize this isn't like a high value video, but it might be cool to some of you to see this sapphire window get placed into our fitting. We don't have our PTFE sleeve in there yet, but you can kind of get an idea for how clear this is gonna be as a fitting. Like absolutely optically transparent. Look how clear that is. That's gonna give us a great view inside the reactor. Now I'm just gonna put these assemblies together and see what happens. Now, just for comparison, this is a sapphire window. I'm coming to you through the sapphire window. Now, I'm coming to you through the best that McMaster Carr has to offer. This is McMaster Carr's best sight glass. And this is very optically distorted. So we wouldn't be able to use this for the Leonard project. Now that we've solved the optics, we can continue on chasing our sonoluminescence. All right, what do you say? Is a little sapphire window worth a like and a share and subscribe? What do you think? Thanks so much for watching. Adios.